Hey everybody, it's Jill K, functional nutritionist and owner of Down to Earth Wellness. If you're already on my Instagram profile or Facebook, you probably know who I am. So I wanted to do a quick video and dig into all about following your um, inner clock, your circadian rhythm. So you might be wondering, what the heck is that and why should I care about it? Um, basically in a nutshell, we all have our inner, inner clocks, our biological clocks, plants have them, animals have them, and we have them. And we've kind of lost track of them over the years. Um, scientists, researchers have been looking into these internal clocks for decades. Since the 1800s, there was a, a I don't know how to say it, astronomer, an astronomer, Jean-Jacques something something very French. He has a long French last name that I can't remember off the top of my head. He discovered that plants have an internal circadian rhythm and an internal clock because he noticed, you know, how plants open their leaves in the daylight, in the sunlight, they always open their leaves. Then he decided to put them in a dark room and he noticed they still open their leaves at the same time every day, even though they were totally in the dark, which helped him figure out, oh, they actually have an inner clock that um, tells them when it's daylight, when it's nighttime, they know. And then they've done lots of studies on mice, animals, and people, um, and really digging into this uh, all about our, our biological clock and how we have this inner clock. Um, and when we follow our inner clock, our health can really be supported, really uh, do awesome and be the best it can be uh, when we're in line with that clock. When we're not following that clock, uh, there's been a lot of research showing that there's a lot of health effects when they've done, you know, change the clocks for mice or animals what has happened to their immune systems, um, the progression of disease. They've also uh, seen in research that there's a lot of links to you know, shift work and our, our clock being out of whack and how our immune systems affected disease, chronic disease, high blood pressure, mental illness, sleep issues, weight issues, metabolism issues, all these things can be very connected to our inner clock. Not saying it's the only factor, of course, diet, lifestyle, uh, and sleep patterns and everything like that and stress levels are a huge factor but having your inner clock um, balanced and on track is a huge way to support and mitigate those issues and keep your body as healthy and resilient as possible so what do I want to say about this basically we all have an inner clock when um, the sun rises and sunsets our body usually follows that clock back in the caveman days we didn't have artificial light all we have is fire and that wouldn't screw with our clock so our body would follow sunrise and sunset a lot like farmers right farmers follow that and you would wake up in the morning from the sun and your cortisol would go up your stress hormones and then your melatonin would go down and then as the day went on and it would start to get dusky your uh, cortisol should be going down your melatonin should be coming up which is your sleep hormone and that tells your body when to rise and when to go to sleep. And then, um, you know, through the years, we've gotten a lot of artificial light, a lot of, yeah, fluorescent lights in the offices. We've got a lot of blue light, computer lights, all that. So that messes with our, our internal clock and tells our eyes and our brain that's sunlight. So that right there starts to mess with our when our clock thinks it's daylight and evening. So anyway, we would normally follow this, this clock, this schedule, and then if we, we'd used to eat at set times, perhaps, when you eat at set times, that tells your body kind of what time it is. Your body starts to secrete all the digestive juices and everything it needs to digest based on when you eat. So after a while, when you start to eat at the same times, your body will be already secreting those stomach acids and everything, which supports your digestion. So that's why it's also key to eat at the same times every day, because then your body, it tells it what time it is. It's lunchtime, and it already starts to secrete those digestive juices. So yeah. Over the years, you know, the lighting changed, our schedules changed, a lot of people started working shift work, we work odd hours, we stay up odd hours, all these things. We travel across time zones, which leads to jet lag, that feeling, you know, being kind of out of whack, that feeling is your, your internal clock being out of whack. And you can also get that from partying, staying up too late, you know, sleeping in late hours and staying up late hours, you get social jet lag. Um, so all these things affect your internal clock. So I wanted to share what can you do? Uh, first of all, what, what will happen if you do support it? You're going to be, you know, getting your body on a nice schedule where it learns, you know, what time you're going to bed, what time you're getting up, what time you're going to the bathroom, what time you're exercising, and what time you're eating. If you eat consistently, it does so well. It really appreciates that. And if you can eat in a smaller window, some call it intermittent fasting, uh, doctor, not doctor, but Sachin Panda, if you want to read his book, great book, The Circadian Code, he calls it TRE, time-restricted eating. 
that can be really, really good for your internal clock. So this will all benefit your metabolism, your moods, your blood pressure, your immune system, uh, mental health, everything. Is, is getting your body on a clock, and usually the clock follows the sun. So keeping it on a schedule with daylight. Um, wherever you're at, if daylight changes a lot, try to stay on the same schedule. But try to go to bed, um, you know, by 10, 30, 11 at the latest. Try to limit food two hours prior to that. And try to eat in like a 10 to 12 hour window. Um, a lot of people actually eat like 15, 16 hours a day and they don't realize it. Coffee counts as breaking your fast. Juice, all that, that counts as food is breaking your fast. Tea with milk, you're breaking the fast. So I'm not like a huge intermittent fasting person, but I am a circadian rhythm person. So if you can start going to bed at the same times, getting up at the same times, and eating in a 10 to 12 hour window, your body's gonna love you, you're gonna sleep better, you're gonna support, again, that internal clock. Um, definitely read more at the blog. There should be a lot of content um, at my blog about this. So yeah, that's my tips. Go, get to bed before 11. Uh, I, I can dig into other tips for shift workers as well. That's another whole video. Um, but trying to keep your circadian rhythm as balanced as possible. Limit flu, uh, food two hours before bed. So say you can try to finish eating dinner by seven and then back that up. What's a 10 to 12 hour eating window? So seven to seven, 9 a.m. to seven. In that window, try to eat three meals a day, three balanced nutrient dense meals with protein, fat, and fiber. Um, and that will help limit late night snacking, late night eating, which um, you know leads to digestion and heartburn late at night, which affects your sleep and your blood sugar balance and your insulin release. So you're gonna be sleeping better, lowering stress hormones and giving your body more time at night to do all its detoxing and cleaning and you know house cleaning. So that's a tip is really start honing in on your exercise schedule, your eating schedule, your sleep schedule, make it consistent, 10 to 12 hour window for food. If you want help with that, just let me know. I can help one-on-one -on -one coaching or my wellness program. And then other than that, start being really mindful of, you know, stimulants at night and yeah, staying on a consistent schedule, even on the weekends, maybe an hour um, different, you know, if you sleep in an hour later or if you stay up an hour later, don't let it go too far, you know, like five hours difference. Um, and then get out in natural sunlight in the day to give you your circadian rhythm a, a jolt and tell, tell your body when it's daytime and limit your, your light at night. So dim the lights around the house, ditch the blue light, um, computers, TV, get some blue light blocking glasses. Those are really essential in today's day and age. Um, because otherwise you're telling your body it is daytime at nighttime, which screws up your internal clock. And then, you know, yeah, dim the lights around the house, um, be mindful of the fluorescent lights at what time of day you're around them. But really getting fresh air during the day is gonna always reset your clock. You can always go reset your clock by going camping. That's an amazing way to reset your internal clock. You might find that you're more tired at night when you're camping. And that's a lot of the times is because you don't have that artificial light above your head keeping you awake. You just have a fire and you got lots of fresh air. So that's a suggestion, getting out in fresh air and then starting to follow a schedule. Every day, give it a week, do the TRE eating, you know, 10 to 12 hour window. Don't be doing the late night snacking and 15 hours, 16 hours of eating, but really focus on three consistent meals and snacks if you need in the day. But you know, a 10 to 12 hour window is great um, and see how you feel. And again, this isn't a diet or a fancy thing. It's a lifestyle. It's a thing that we used to be on back in the day before we got electricity. Our body was always on a clock. If you notice your animals are on a clock, a routine when they eat, poop, sleep, they're very routine oriented and same with plants. And it turns out we are too, but we just, uh, we kind of circumvent it if that's the word or ignore it by having all this artificial light in our, our busy lifestyles and TV. So if we can get back to that nice routine and that clock that supports our circadian rhythm your health is gonna be benefited and supported so much. I'm talking metabolism, appetite, mental health, moods, stress, immune system, it's endless. So I'm pretty, a uh, pretty big fan of the circadian rhythm support and rebalancing that. If you have any questions, let me know and comment below. What do you think? Are you gonna give it a try? Definitely let me know. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.